if you go into a boardroom and start talking about soft measures and don't really connect that to what the pressures are on a board, you're not going to have a very productive conversation and you're still going to be thought of as a cost base. If you change the conversation and switch it up into language that they understand and really think about where, does, where do the two meet, so where do the customers meet, customer needs meet and where do the company needs meet, if you can get into that sweet spot, then it's a really fruitful conversation around how you can drive profitable growth for the business. So we know it's very important to balance long and short term effects and my colleague Les Binette and I have, have for a number of years now talked about the 60-40 sweet spot at which you know, the effectiveness of campaigns is, is maximised, so that's about 60% brand building, 40% activation. We know that that is shifting slowly over time, it's actually getting more important to invest money in brand building for, for, for various reasons. Um, but also we know that it varies by category and context. The proportion of brands measuring long-term value is nowhere near as high as the proportion of brands that are doing a good job of measuring short-term impacts, which can lead to you know, some of the things that Panet and Field have observed around short-termist behaviour, uh, moving, moving away from their 60-40 ratio, because the short-term is just easier to measure. It really often comes down to having one, maybe two objectives that are about delivering the kind of dollar return next year that will keep everyone happy. But we normally also are adding maybe one more objective, which is a longer term brand building, less immediate return as well. And as long as I can get my budget to cover the short term return, which will keep everybody happy, and the longer term uh, impact, which will set things up for future years, I think we're in good shape. There's a famous phrase on the lines of not everything that counts can be counted and not everything that can be counted counts and it's incumbent on all marketers to balance both metrics that are simple and easy to, to measure that can capture short-term business results and complement that with longer term more difficult but really important uh, measurements. The contribution of various media channels to your total profit across the short and the long term is different by different channels. So if, if total profit is our goal, uh, we need to look at the effects across the short and the long term uh, and we need to adjust our plans accordingly. We made a big punt in terms of um, direct line. Um, the, the, the insurance market I think was seen by some as a commodity marketplace where you could save money on the marketing, um, make uh, the product cheap and sell it on price comparison websites. Um, we obviously, through our privilege brand, have a proposition there for a no frills insurance brand. We then have our Churchill brand, but Direct Line is where we put the most investment in as a brand, not only into the marketing, but also into the proposition. And that's really fantastic. This has turned the, it from a brand that's been declining to one that's growing. It's our most valuable brand. Our customers love it. And it's a proper piece of marketing and brand investment of the school that I would have understood when I was uh, at Procter & Gamble all those years ago. It's important to keep your business and brand strategy at the heart of everything because that enables the business to understand why it's so critical. If marketing is seen as a periphery thing pursuing its own objectives, that's when it doesn't get investment, that's when it doesn't get a seat in the boardroom. What we try and do is always frame marketing activity in terms of how it's helping enable the business, how it's a strategic driver of growth for the business. You have this proliferation of channels and it's really important to understand what context people are consuming your message in and then adapting your content accordingly. And I think often people get so caught up in the data that they forget about the most important bit, which is how you present yourself um, within that context. I think ultimately the brand is a very, very key element in driving that profitable growth. You need to be very cognizant in terms of what consumers think of your brand and what do you need to change about your messaging and what behaviour do you want to drive and you need to start with that. The kind of brand marketing we do is, is actually moderated much more by maintaining our share of voice in the marketplace. And it's really important that we do that because what we've seen is that when we don't maintain our share of voice in the marketplace, the conversion rates at the performance end of the funnel tend to degrade relatively quickly. So it's quite important that we have a balance across the two. So there was a study that Ubiquiti launched at Cannes earlier this year which had a fascinating stat within it 
uh, which is that if brands made better allocation of their marketing spend, uh, there was an opportunity to increase the profit they made by £34.2 billion across a year. Uh, and I think this gives us uh, you know, uh, uh, an idea of the scale of the opportunity that there is for advertisers who have a much more forensic approach uh, to their marketing strategy when it comes to effectiveness learnings. I think what motivates people is a sense of autonomy, a sense of purpose, ultimately a sense of mastery in what they do. And effect, that is what effectiveness is about. It's about helping people understand how they can get better at what they do and how what they do ladders up to a bigger set of objectives. I think that marketing effectiveness is absolutely here to stay as one of the things that we will be most concerned with. You know, creativity, um, ideas, all of this great stuff, the magic of marketing, becomes just as important in, in the future. It's a yin and yang. It's not where we can say that now we've got this system that creativity doesn't matter anymore. Actually, it matters even more than it did before. We are trying to break some boundaries um, around traditional thoughts about how, what an effectiveness function is and does. So at UK TV, uh, we have a process where every three months, everybody moves desks. And it's deliberately designed to increase um, people's understanding of other teams and also help people form relationships. Um, there are instances where finance will sit right next to marketing and I think that's fantastic because it means that you understand the day-to-day -day operation of the different teams and it really helps foster uh, relationships and trust. I think we have so many good tools and people and methodologies in place that I think we need to just be having better conversations, helping people to understand, educating people, but also talking in the right way. So talking in a responsible way, talking in a way that the businesses will listen to, and that's not just about how good the maths is and how good the programming is behind getting to that number. Do an effectiveness day every, say, half a year. Get together in a room, lock yourself in with the team, with finance, and just go through the, the effectiveness funnel, segmentation, messages, media mix, execution, consistency, and just have a look. What could we do better? It's simple things like this that will raise the bar of effectiveness in companies. I caution greatly that we're going down this road far too far. We're being told relentlessly that data is the only show in town. You look at what analysts are writing about this, which influence businesses, and as far as they're concerned, this is all that matters. Um, and this is really, really just not true. The data, the evidence doesn't bear this out. Uh, so we need to get the beast under control, we need to get back into balance and understand that we need left and right brain, we need data and imagination, you know, we need rigour and creativity to work together uh, to drive maximum effectiveness. Now is the time for effectiveness. I think we are awash with um, opportunity to make marketing considered to be the engine of an organisation. I think it's really exciting. If we can own the customer relationship, if we can tell the business about what customers are thinking, doing and saying and feeling, then that puts marketeers in a really strong position.